Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. Um, y'all, I want to show y'all some stuff, okay? I want to show y'all some stuff. And I'm wondering now, is this why Steve Harvey and his wife's name is popping up now, y'all? Now, we know that they are close to Puffy. We do know that. But... The sad part about this whole situation is this is allegedly a well-respected talk show host and stuff like that. To some people, not everybody. A lot of people don't like this guy at all, okay? They think he's arrogant, got an attitude problem, all kind of stuff. Everybody that didn't work for him, you know, they say the same thing that, you know, he got a big head, okay? Y'all, the money that went to his head and he don't know how to treat people. This is what they say. Okay, Some similar stuff about Puffy. Don't know how to treat people. Okay, um, there were also rumors that their daughter was dating Puffy and his son, y'all, at one point in time. Those were the rumors. I don't know if they were true or not, but you have to ask yourself this question when you look at certain things that's going on with a situation and Puffy, them. Okay, y'all. Now, word on the street is Steve Harvey's wife. Was somebody that was out here slanging and banging. Okay, y'all. They say she was one of the the, the queen of this stuff. Okay, y'all. Or that uh, or that powder. She was the queen of it, of selling it, or being with somebody that's selling it. Or she she knew that she had the connection. She had this, that, that, and this. And this takes you to a whole nother level of what their friendship is really about. Okay, y'all. And this also opens your eyes to that Lori Harvey. You know, everybody thinks she's dating everybody, but could Lori Harvey be out here slanging and banging too? I'm just saying, y'all. Could Lori Harvey be out here doing the same thing that Young Miami is doing right now? Ask yourself this question, okay, y'all? Like mama, like daughter, is this is this the case? And I know she don't have to, but um, she don't got to be with all these different guys and, and, and getting a reputation that she getting either, which makes you wonder. Is she doing something else? Yeah. Okay, y'all. Yeah. It just makes you wonder, is her job something else? Because everybody thought that, um, you know, young man Amy's job was, you know, Puffy's girlfriend. But now we're seeing that she works for him, that they're, you know, allegedly trafficking is popping up in their little situations and stuff like that. And it makes you wonder if uh, Lori Harvey is into it too. It just makes you wonder, y'all. I'm just saying. Now, Somebody that is on everybody's TV, Steve Harvey. Let's get back to him because this this makes me sick to my stomach. To be honest, y'all, it's one thing of these rappers and how that they are sending off their own races, okay, y'all, and messing up their own kids and stuff, mans and everything else, and a lot of them into all of this demonic stuff and this and that and that and this. But when you have somebody that's a talk show host, y'all, okay. This takes you to a whole nother level of, you know, um, BS when, when it comes to this. Because you think about your neighborhoods and you think about all of the people that's being taken out on a day-to-day -day -day basis. People is being taken out because of all these weapons on the street. And when you have people like Steve Harvey that supports weapons being on the streets and possibly, a word on the street, his wife could be schooling, helping school young Miami on how to move um, the stuff around. Um, when you have questionable stuff like that, it just makes you wonder. You know, all of these house ninjas, y'all know what I want to say, N-I-G-G-A. All of these house ninjas that's, you know, sitting back in their big, beautiful homes and this and that and that and this and don't have a care in the world, y'all, about the hood because they didn't left the hood. They don't live in the hood anymore, Okay. It just makes you wonder how they sleep at night that you're supporting putting more weapons on the streets. You're supporting, you know, um, people putting street pharmacy on the streets and messing up their... You're going to look up one day and your race is no more. You don't have nobody left. 
They're replacing you. And do y'all think that they're just going to sit around and let y'all smile in their face? Look at the artist that's being taken down. Look at all of these celebrities that's being taken down right now at the same time. Because the birds of a feather flock together, right? It would be really, really bad if we found out later that even Steve Harvey is invested in some of the, these companies that's dealing with, you know, Jay-Z and Beyonce. It just, it, it just makes you wonder. Okay, y'all? It just makes you wonder. Now, <clears throat> even the Bible say bad association spoils useful habits. The Bible tell you that. Okay, y'all? Um, so if you're around this, you're around this. But could it be something more going on between, you know, the Harveys and the Combs? Ask yourself that question, y'all. I'm just saying. He has a, supposed to have been a girlfriend, but she's not his girlfriend. We find it out now. She's his employee. So it would make sense for him to go to, you know, Steve Harvey or Lori Harvey. Really, Lori Harvey. Um, to get some, you know, I'm just saying some tips on moving stuff around. You got private jets, all kind of stuff. You can do whatever it is you want. You got an island where they're saying that girls are being taken to and mistreated. Y'all, it's a lot of stuff going on with Puffy now, okay? It's a lot of stuff coming out, and it just makes you wonder, well, is certain people being schooled, y'all, okay? When people start telling me, oh, you know, they call um Young Miami, um, they call it, she was moving the pink powder, pink powder. I'm just call it pink powder, y'all. She was moving the pink powder, okay, y'all? Um, The white stuff. This is what they're saying, that this is what her job was, too. So, why wouldn't he go to the best of the best? I'm just saying, y'all. Why wouldn't he go to somebody that knows that type of stuff? She has a background in this. Her ex, before she got with Steve Harvey, you know, this is what her lifestyle was about. Lori, um, I mean, Margaret. This is what her lifestyle was about. Okay? Now, I want to take you out to this as well because, of course, Steve Harvey and, um, you know, Jay-Z and them and all of them is close. Okay? Of course they're all close. And of course they're going to support each other's businesses. Okay? Why wouldn't they? If Steve Harvey has something, I'm sure, you know, Jay-Z, uh, P. Diddy them, they're going to support them. If P. Diddy, Jay-Z and them is attached to something and they got a business, which allegedly is pro, pro, pro shop. Okay? Best pro shop. Um, They're going to support them. Okay? And, of course, Kabbalah's name is written all over this. Okay, y'all? Um, I'm not surprised. This is Lord, uh, Margaret Harvey out fishing. And look at her hat she got on, y'all. It says Kabbalah. Okay? Kabbalah's. She's supporting. This is another connection to celebrities that's supporting each other's businesses, y'all. Kabbalah's... <laughs> Pro Shop Hats is not just no regular, you know, neighborhood shop where you go buy a weapon at. This is huge worldwide. And a lot of celebrities that's attached to this is attached to crimes. People are being taken out in the industry. Weapons are being stolen at a particular time, a whole bunch at a time. And word on the street is inside jobs when, the, you know, um, they're... Places are getting hit up. It's inside jobs so that they can pass these weapons out on the street. So they, they can, you know, st the street associates can have them. This is a part of the downfall of our neighborhoods. And why so many people are getting hit up. They can't walk to the corner store without somebody taking a, a hit at them. People that's not even tied to weapons at all, they are now... Getting hit up and they ain't had nothing to do with it. They coming home from work, y'all. They are coming home from work. Look at her with her bass pro shop hat. This is Margaret. She got a closet full of bass pro shop products. Don't it just make y'all sick to y'all stomach that people like this? A talk show host that's in everybody's living room every day almost. That people that watch them. You are supporting the downfall of your own races, communities. You you are helping it out. You are helping put weapons on the streets. 
And if you're schooling um, Young Miami, you're helping push street pharmacy out here. Giving them, you know, little, little pointers. This is a sad situation. The more you dig, the more stuff you're finding. And a lot of people is attached to so much stuff, y'all. Together. More bad pro shop connections. Okay, y'all. Now Steve Harvey and them is supporting the Bass Pro Shop. This is why this is being pumped up now. We got all of these celebrities, their wives and stuff. Man, she fancy, y'all. Miss, Miss, Miss Harvey is fancy. And even she, you know, takes her heels off to put on her a Bass Pro Shop hat. They were all, they all promoting. And they're promoting violence, y'all. I don't care how you look at this. This is a promotion of minorities. How do these people sleep at night? How? When you're selling out your own people. You're attached to people. That's lining people up in the industry. Taking them away from their kids. And Steve Harvey and Lori Harvey is supporting this, y'all. When they said the pink powder stuff, this is the first thing I thought about. This is the first person I thought about. I was like, oh, my God. Somebody did send me some stuff about this a while back. And I'm like, is this what's going on right up under our nose, y'all? This is, and she's some kind of um, queen. It used to be some kind of queen, P-I to the end or something like that, y'all. Or P-E-M. Is this what she used to be? Because that's, that's what I heard, y'all. And that her husband, uh, whatever, boyfriend went to jail for slanging and banging. And they were slanging a lot, y'all, okay? Now they want to find out who all was been in, you know, Puffy Plane, his jet, you know, his private jet, all that stuff. And we actually got bloggers that's defending Puffy. <laughs> I said, Lord have mercy. You see right in your face which you know which subscribers i'm talking about it i'm saying if this and f that blah 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 blah. but you see the subscribe you know the the, uh, the bloggers what they're talking about the closer it's getting to finding out what's really going on with puffy and this and that and this and a lot of them is defending them y'all a lot of them they're defending them when bobby brown's sister just came forward and said that bobby brown did something to some little ones too the blogger was jumping on social media, talking about, you know, this person should get in trouble if they're lying, which is true. Which is true. If somebody is lying, they should get in trouble. They should. Okay? But what if they ain't? What if they're not? They bloggers was on here talking about, why why you going on Tasha K show? Why don't you just do it? You know, go to the police instead of going to do an interview with Tasha K. Um... Never mind act just because they like somebody. I'm, I'm noting there's a pattern with this. I like me, I love me some Bobby Brown too. But if Bobby Brown is out here doing some stuff like they are saying he's doing, I'm done with him too. If it is true what they're saying about Bobby. You cannot be around certain inner circles and think that that person ain't like them. Bobby Brown was around this inner circle too, y'all. Okay? He was. And probably still is. Around this inner circle. Is this where she getting the, the pink powder from, y'all? The idea and everything of her, you know, out here slanging and banging. Ring a bell, y'all. Um, I just wanted to show y'all something. Because more connections to the S Pro Shop. Okay, y'all? And not only is Bash Pro Shop. Is sell, you know, weapons and clothes and all of that other stuff as well, okay? But they also has one of the largest U.S. boat manufacturers, which means, y'all, which means, y'all, the something that ran into that doggone, watch him a jigger. Y'all know that thing that just ran, that big old boat that just ran and took the bridge and all of that stuff? 
Could this be all connected? Now they have to reroute and go through New York. So was this a reason for that? And a lot of cargo stuff, y'all, people be in them too. So I'm starting to wonder now, is this a connection as well? Okay? And word on the street is, y'all, those tunnels that Puffy had under his house, I'm hearing some stuff about that. Okay, y'all? Now, I don't know if the Playboy Mansion was in that area. I don't know. I don't know if, you know, um, Jay-Z have a house in that area. But word on the street is that underground tunnel went to the Playboy Mansion, y'all. That's it. That's where it led to. The Playboy Mansion and it led to, um, Jay-Z house. I didn't even know Jay-Z had a house in that area, but this is what I'm hearing. Okay, y'all? So, I'm going to say allegedly because I don't know if that part is true or not. I don't know who all live in that neighborhood. But these are the rumors that's coming out. Okay, y'all? These are the rumors that's coming out. One of the largest man boat manufacturers, Tracker. Tracker, y'all. Bash Pro Shop is owner of this, too. Okay, y'all? Um... It's a lot of stuff that's connecting a lot of people. And it just makes you wonder, the higher up that you go, do they not care about the little people anymore, y'all? Could they care less? They figure that they're going to ride it on out with the, the few blacks that they be around. They got money. And they could care less about the neighborhoods and the communities. This is what it's looking like, y'all. Because when you are putting money into the pockets of people that's putting weapons in people's hands that's on the streets, you're part of the problem too. That's how I look at it. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. How do you all feel about Steve Harvey and his wife and, you know, just the support that they have for these alleged, alleged, alleged hitters? Dolph ain't do nothing to nobody, y'all. He do nothing. Mo3 didn't do nothing to nobody, y'all. Nipsey Hussle was out here trying to make money, help people. And they were taken out. Takeoff was taken out, man, in his own business, doing his own thing. And Steve Harvey and his wife, they're supporting the hitters. They're supporting the people the alleged hitters and the people that's out here putting more weapons on the streets in the communities and they're out here supporting people that's putting more street pharmacy out here on these streets. Should he even have a talk show host? Should he even be one, y'all? Should he just stick to the game shows and leave the talk show host alone? Because how can you have something to say about somebody when you roll with Diddy? And there's a possibility that your wife is schooling. Diddy and Young Miami. How could you give advice to people? Seriously, y'all. This man is tied to harming little ones, y'all. P. Diddy. How is y'all so chummy chummy with this man? Please tell me. And people had the nerve to say... Oh, Lori Harvey was fooling Diddy. He, she, she was best friends with Kim Porter. And this is why she, she tried to get close to Puffy so she could find out information. That was a lie. That was a lie too. Because they all support each other businesses behind closed doors. No matter how dirty, grimy it is. But y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.